Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Anampavana Sapakna. Close your eyes. Try to breathe in a way that's solid. In other words, it's calming. It helps you to collect your nerves, collect your your mind. Like the air and tires. You want the, the air pressure to be up enough to support the car. So you want the breath to be enough to support your mind right here. And to support it with some stability. Because look at the world around you. Everything in the world is unstable. Even your body is unstable. And going out from your body to other people, things around your society at large, it's all very unstable. And it spins around. It's not. There's no guarantee that things are just going to get better and better. They get better for a while, then they get worse, and they get better again, back and forth, back and forth like this. And if your well-being depends on something unstable like that, of course you're going to be at put in a really bad position, basically. There's going to be a lot of disease. It's like sitting on a chair. If the legs of the chair aren't stable, then you can't really get any comfort. You can't relax into the chair. So try to bring your mind into the present moment. Learn to relax into the present moment, because this is where you get your strength. We get a little bit of strength from outside, but our major source of strength has to come from inside. And it's there. The quality of the mind that's really stable and still, and that just watches things and is not affected by them. It's there in the mind. It's just a question of filtering things out, cleaning things away until you can find it. So anything in the mind that's unstable or distressing, just put that aside. Put it aside. Clear it away. Clear it away. You may have your responsibilities at other times, but right now you don't have to take on those responsibilities. You can put them aside so the mind can be strong. If the mind is strong, strengthened through the concentration, then when you do go back to your other responsibilities, you're a lot better able to take care of them. So the mind needs its time to be by itself, to gather itself together and gain strength from being gathered together. It's like a group of people. If the people are all off on their own trying to eke out a living, it's very hard for them to get very far, but if they get together as a society and cooperate as a group, then they can do all kinds of things, create all kinds of comfort for themselves, and they can be strong in fending off people who want to attack. Well, it's the same with the mind. If your mind is scattered, a little piece of your mind is with this person, a little piece of your mind is with that person, none of the pieces have much strength. But if you bring them together right here, right now, can they strengthen one another? And then whatever comes up, you have the strength to fend off the difficulties of life and still have a sense of well-being inside. So try to maintain this sense of being gathered in together as much as you can, not only when you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. If you find a moment to yourself, try to gather everything in. And even when you don't have moments to yourself, try to have a sense of being well-established here inside. So that whenever you deal with anything, you're coming from a position of strength, a position of well-being. That way you don't get knocked off balance. <laughs>